Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As I uh, made two videos on this, actually, one about uh, the French and the other one by the Germans, uh, or about the Germans wanting to uh, do something about their industry moving to the United States of America, or at least planning to move to US because of the high energy costs in their countries. They want to relocate to the United States of America where they will pay less for energy and they will take advantage of that little policy that uh, the Biden administration uh, put in place and that is the in Inflation Reduction Act or something like that. So they, they uh, intervene in the market and they provide a kind of tax uh, perks and uh, you know ways to weasel out uh, certain uh, payments. Therefore, the guys in Germany say, well, I'd rather go over there to the US and where the production cost will be much lower, taxes much lower, and then I sell, send it back and sell it in uh, this uh, idiot's country where actually my company is from. So how about doing that? The fast money. The problem is um, Macron had a little conversation with some CEOs today and he said, well, don't go please don't go, please don't go, stay here and we're gonna give you, I don't know exactly what, two candies and a, I don't know, cooking book or something and uh, just stay here. It doesn't work. Now the Germans have a different idea and can you guess that idea is gonna fall on whose head? Who's gonna be the ones that will be responsible for keeping that industry back home because the politicians fucked up again? <laughs> You're looking at it. You guys, you who live in Germany, or in Europe, or in France, however you want to put it. This article comes from Sputnik, and it is from today, the 21st of November 2022. Germany could use subsidies instead of tariffs to stop industry decamping to US. So subsidies, where are the subsidies coming from? <laughs> Can you guess? It's called a bank, plus an I, international bank. And uh, guess who that bank is going to charge? Uh, you. And you're going to pay with interest and your children will pay that for that and your grandchildren and so on. Because the great decisions, these weasels, Olaf Scholz, Macron and their ladies of the night over there, uh, Andalena and whatever they are, Barbuck and those guys made decisions for you in your name. Love democracy. A trade war between Europe and the US is looming as EU member states fear new legislation in Washington is designated to deindustrialize the continent's economic heartlands on the Atlantic and Baltic coasts. Coast. After they told you, those guys over there, hey, you gotta get rid of Russian oil, Russian gas, no more for you, we're gonna sell that for you to you at the premium price and you're gonna get it at a very very high high pri price believe us we're gonna save you there you go we don't only take your uh, uh, resources we're gonna take your companies too and your women next the German government is considering flouting European Union rules against state aid to industries to counter US attempts to lure away investment and jobs you see, the easiest and dumbest and most criminal way of solving a problem, economic problem that you can't solve with your brain is taxing people and companies. That's the easiest and the dumbest way. You can't solve a, a, a problem, economic problem, because of too many uh, regulations you impose and other shit, you know? And then what are you gonna do? You're gonna tax the ones that you are gonna save. Great fantastic so they're gonna grow right they're gonna have more money to consume for for things that are gonna cost more and it will be less and less produced by companies that are going to be they're gonna be inefficient and they're gonna be go bankrupt and they're gonna say hey we need to save them too big to fail what are we gonna do go to the same place uh, I bank international banks yeah and then who's paying you or just print money in the same time with one hand call the banks and the other one print monies money money is money. <sighs> Germany and France have protested that so-called Inflation Reduction Act currently working its way through the US Congress is in fact designed 
to attract large manufacturers to relocate across the Atlantic on the promise of far lower energy prices. Western sanctions on Russia, strongly advocated by the US and UK in response to the conflict in Ukraine, have prompted a crippling energy shortage in Europe. Prices had increased several times over even before the sabotage of the Nord Stream 1 and the Nord Stream 2 pipelines that carry Russian gas across the Baltic Sea to Germany. Did they find who that was? Yeah, but they will not tell us. You know why? <laughs> it's very inconvenient. Otherwise, they will be like Russia or they need uh, time to put things together, weld the information together and then just say, oops, here it is. Here it is. You like it? Yeah. You think it's, you think that's what it is? It's Russia. OK. And we're like, hmm, I have a few questions here. No, 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 no question. Let's move on. Forget about it. Uh, so the that has raised fears of trade war between Europe and the US with punitive tariffs in a bid to force firms such as German car giant Volkswagen keep their favorites factories favorites oh my god factories within the block German MEP Bernd Lange the chairman of the European Parliament's International Trade Committee and a member of the Scholz Social Democratic Party said governments must act urgently to head off the, that threat. And I'm quoting, there are only a few weeks left, Lar Lange warned. Once the act is implemented, it will be too late for us to act, achieve any changes. End quote. And, it, and Thierry Breton, the French appointee to the EU Executive Committee, and its head of internal markets has called for a European Solidarity Fund, blah, 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 to keep, to help with mobilizing the ne necessary funding banks, right, for batteries, microchips and hydrogen, among other key technologies. A German economy ministry spokesperson said that in, in the face of the looming US legislation, we will have to come up with our own European response that puts our strengths first. Oh. America first, remember? There was uh, okay a few years here, but now the Germans and the French want to do it. <laughs> the aim is to competitively relocate green value creation in Europe. Green, okay. And strengthen our own production capabilities with the green. Yeah, good luck with that one. However, the spokesperson cautioned that both sides must be careful that there is no subsidy race that prevents the best ideas from prevailing in the market, since green technology in particular thrive best in fair competition, protectionism, cripples innovation, only in the green economies. There are so much bullshit. So Yeah, uh, protectionism kills um, uh, free competition and uh, what was the word? Was it? Fair competition. The same regulations my communist uh, uh, social democrats so-called. Uh, German social democrats and these communists here, the democrats here. Yes, 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 yes. More tariffs, more regulations. That's great. You can't strip it down. It's already loaded. You can't. You take here and grows here. That's how it is right now with all these regulations. You try to fix here, it grows three times here. Uh, the problem. You try to fix those 10 problems, it's going to be 50 more right here. 50 more here, 3,000 here. 3,000 here, 5 million there. That's how it goes. That's why they, they can predict shit. And it's, remember, economy is usually going up or down, okay? Or nothing, up and down. And they, they so there's 50%, you know? It's like left and right, there's no other, other option. And they still fuck up things. I mean, you have, really, if, if you would go to play at the casino and you have, what, uh, one in two odds, <laughs> you would be like, oh, 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 but you don't have that. So uh, remember, and these guys are still shooting uh, wrong, like blanks, blanks. Anyway, this is what it is now, guys. Uh, keep, uh, no, how does that keep uh, Germany first or uh, Germany first, France first, European Union first, because uh, America first was a race, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, it's so much BS. So, yeah, uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to subsidize the companies? Volkswagen is going to stay here. How do you subsidize it? As I said, international banking, and then you're going to charge with raising taxes these consumer 
and the consumer, you're not going to do it all now because you don't want the guy. You want the guy to vote for you still. So you're going to do little. But doing it little is going to add with the interest that in 20 years or 30 years, after you're dead or you're old and your thing is down, what are you going to do? I did my part of the deal. I have some fun over there in, with the ladies of the night in the Bunder, uh, Bundestag or whatever and whatever else. And uh, <laughs> these guys were screwed. Yes, they don't even know my name. And then over there they're going to say, 30 years from now, oh my God, we are in a recession, we, a crisis. How did this happen? Hey, look back there. You remember Ukraine? Exactly. Yeah. More sanctions for you. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.